Okay. Oh. Oh. It must have done well. We got encore applause. Okay. Here are the questions. Paul Begala, do the Democrats have an effective strategy to combat gerrymandering? Yes. Uh, well, they're working on it. Eric Holder, the former attorney general, yes. is leading a, a, a movement to do that at President Obama. With Obama, he's yeah, help to, sure. to support it and fund it. There are no two better people, but we've got to do it. I mean, but by the way, if we want to tear down monuments to slavery and segregation, let's start with denying the vote to African Americans, which states across America have done, including my beloved Texas. I know you've worked on that, right? You know what we else also have to work on and be careful of is while this is all happening in the longer term plan, Trump's team is making a play to undermine the census and defund the Census Bureau. So they will not be able to count and accurately represent who is in the country <laughs> and who lives here. This one I didn't know about. Every time I think he's really and exhausted. He'll every... compromise and count him as three-fifths, though. But the well, that's... illegal immigrants won't take the census because they're afraid of a knock on the door in a way that they weren't as much last time we had a census. It's so they're going to be they're point, going to be uh, undercounted. So Who's going to so be so so Illegal immigrants are going to be undercounted. They've been right. counted in the past because I they've see. had the implicit because they're afraid. Uh, right. uh, uh, you know, uh, so guarantee. Again, the hypocrisy of all those who are ashamed, embarrassed by Trump's Charlottesville statements, are not ashamed of his in fact using shifting government funds for um, uh, violence by by white supremacists to anti affirmative action. Yeah. The, they are not ashamed of his appointing Jefferson Borger Davis. So I, I suspect that come, no, no, come September, his agenda will be intact. That's, that's what's strange. His agenda will still be intact after all this madness. Mm. Uh, Frank, what explains why some parts of the country remain so backward when it comes to gay rights? Is it even true anymore? Yeah, it I is mean, true. The, the numbers are over 50% nationally that they support gay marriage. Yeah, well, this is only going one way long term because if you look at the polls, it's generational more than anything else. So even right. if you poll evangelical Christians under the age of 30, more of them support gay marriage than not. But in the South uh, and in some other regions, the church still holds great sway, and a lot of this really does boil down to that. Right. It is a, yeah, it is a church thing. Look at me attacking a church. <laughs> Next to a reverend. Uh, Jesse Jackson, are voter ID laws the new Jim Crow? It's a part of the new Jim Crow. The uh, scheme, actually, the idea of voter fraud is a fraud. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in Detroit, 77,000 voters do not register at the top of the ticket, which means it was some hanky panky going on. The, the very first, uh, the first paragraph in the uh, New York Times editorial on November 9th is the, is the uh, Republican chairman celebrating the fact he suppressed the black vote by 9% and increased the white vote by 21% because of voter suppression. So that those who deny the right to vote now, in fact, use purging as their weapon. Hmm. Okay, what, do you, what does the panel think about the rumored Kasich-Hickenlooper unity ticket to challenge Trump in 2020? Uh, Wait a second. Kasich, Hickenlooper's Democrat, and right. Kasich, Kasich's oh, Ohio please. Republican. No, I, I, I mean, Ohio, I, Colorado. Lawrence O'Donnell last night was saying that Paul Ryan is actively challenging him because he went to Seattle or something and made a speech. Uh, you think, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't think any Republican is going to unseat Trump from the nomination in 2020. Kasich will run, I think. Uh, really? Against? Sure. I mean, he's been making all the, yeah. the, the noises for it. You really like John Kasich? Uh, go compared go. to Trump, absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's that. No, John Kasich is like he's uh, he has a, a very sort of Lindsey Graham-ish uh, record when it comes to uh, just constantly favoring interventions around the entire globe in ways that the media doesn't really give him uh, guff for. Okay, you know that this crazy false equivalency that I hear on this panel every fucking week from people who who pick apart little things that you know I don't like any of these guys either. I don't like Kasich. I never like Bush or Mitt Romney and all these fucking people. It's not the same as this demented man-child in full makeup. <laughs> Who could blow up the world and poop tweets at 3 a.m.? I, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, not, it's, I'm not okay, saying but, they're the same. I'm saying okay. that a lot of people have uh, uh, a soft spot in their heart for Kasich because they haven't actually looked at what he's done, either as governor or as a candidate. I have a soft spot for normalcy and sanity and <laughs> somebody who's not going to blow up the world, is what I. Okay. Does the panel think Trump will scrap NAFTA? If it's stupid, I'm sure he will. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> 
scrap NAFTA, anybody? Anyone want to <laughs> bite on that one? He said he would will, renegotiate will, will, will Trump, will he pardon himself? I, I, I think there's no line. He would if he could. He's Absol going to fire Mueller. He's going to pardon. I said this earlier. The Arpaio pardon was awful in and of itself. But I also think it was a signal to the targets of the Mueller investigation that I got your back. I think he, I think there's no line, Bill, I think your editorial was great tonight. There's no line he won't cross. Got to write it down. If, if it's not written down, he'll do it. Or you have businesses go to him and make something happen. Or the generals, yeah. right? Somebody else has to weigh in for him to say, oh, okay, I don't care enough about this to argue with you. I'll let you deal with it. Whether it's the Afghanistan war for the general or NAFTA and businesses. So which, means, that's... which means that McConnell and, and, uh, must, write, must write it down. Uh, they, they cannot say he's a bad guy because he is unkind and then no. embrace his right. agenda. Like they did, they kind of wrote a little law that said you can't fire Mueller, right? They haven't passed it, though. Right. The guy, one of the guys who wrote it, Tom Tillis, got a call from President Trump. I'm sure. Reaming him out about oh, Russia. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. This is, but well, they do, they've, they've yeah. all put their spines in a blind trust, a, these Republicans right. on the yes. Hill. And I would pick another body part, but, you know, my mom watched it. <laughs> but it's a clean show. My mama, you know. But, <laughs> but uh, the, another Russian ambassador turned up dead today. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> like, it happens all the time, and it doesn't seem to be natural causes. And I'm sure every time it does, Trump goes, geez, I wish I could do that. But again, when O'Reilly asked him about that, he said, Putin's a killer. He said, you think we're so great? Exactly. Actually, I do think we're so great, and I yes. think Putin is so evil. Thank and I'd you. like my president to be able to say that. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.